and left fingerprints and all. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. A crime scene investigator photographed and dusted for prints on the lid of the garbage can and the window pane and ledge. We consider this person to be a flight risk. We have jail calls where he's talking about going to see his girlfriend in Florida um, multiple times, actually. We have a call where he was talking with his wife about going to stay in her boss's house. I'm going to leave out all the names here, as Mr. Lewis did as well, uh, about her boss's house in Abu Dhabi, which, is, of course, you know, quite far away from here. He's considered dangerous. Um, there are several pending warrants that will be coming out that based on their content alone, um, there's a great likelihood that he's, you know, he's someone who commit further felonies. Furthermore, without mentioning the facts of the case in front of us, um, children were involved. 355 days without indictment, 23 CP 215407. I'm assuming you want me to wave, Mr. Lewis. Uh, Sure. All right. I can say it if you want me to, or do you want me to wave? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think Ms. Williams cares. Well, you know, yeah, wait, Judge. All right, one, two, three, four. There's five other felonies on there that have to do with the uh, nudity, let's say. No bond as of January the 13th, 2023. Freak! Um, this last case that came about involves, a, if a, my understanding is correct, and I don't know because I haven't received discovery on it since it hasn't been indicted, a single photograph that was found on a computer that the prosecution, well, not even the prosecution at this point, I guess it's still the police because it's not indicted or accused, claimed uh, was my client's and that he was in possession of either the computer or the photograph that's on there. My client has never been accused of anything involving uh, uh, nudity or anything else. Uh, with children. On one of the bonds, I believe that you signed, Judge, you tell him he can't be with his wife. Uh, I'm going to ask that you... Uh, Is that Melody Scratchin? No. It's uh, Ms. the other lady, the SS lady. Oh, Strawberry. Yeah. Yeah. So if you, if you don't mind, uh, let him be with his wife uh, before we end up having a divorce matter in Fulton County. You have to turn over your passport to Mr. Lewis. No further contact with anyone under the age of 18. No social, no social media, no internet access. Miss, uh, surrender your passport, like I said, and you cannot leave Fulton County. Internet access and, uh, wait, or oh, animals. Animals, I've got animals. No contact with any animals of any kind. Slow down. I just want to get to know you, but don't turn around. Cause a pretty real thing looks good to me. Get that pose on like that. Yes, indeed. Let's get it. The champ is here. The champ is here. Oh my God. Who's on the docket today? Mm, mm, mm. These pedos. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's get it. Yo, YouTube, YouTube. Trey back again to hit y'all with another video. Hope y'all having a very great day. Hope y'all having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely stupendous big shout out to all the channel members all subscribers of the trey king show family and much love to each and every last one of you all and you all we have a hell of a story today but before i start this story i want to send a special thank you all to my channel members and also to my subscribers for sending the media story and also keep these stories coming now this story right here shows you why i tell you that you must in this lifetime yes you must align yourself with the right people now, there are some disturbing allegations going on surrounding Shirley Strawberry's husband. Not Shirley Strawberry. She is totally innocent in this, unless she knew about it. And I doubt very seriously if she knew about the mess, yes, that her husband, Ernesto Williams, was up to. And anybody named Ernesto, you got to be aware of him. And if anybody watch me right now named Ernesto, <laughs> I am so sorry. Anyway, now, just a couple of days ago, it have came out in the news and the media that Shirley Strawberry's husband, has been arrested, yes, yes, on child pornography charges, yes. He was said to be in possession of child pornography after law enforcement found, yes, a child image that he was supposed to have on his computer. You might be thinking, well, damn, Trey, if the man is married and he happened to be 59 years old, you're too damn old to be right here trying to look at some damn children, if these allegations are true. But let's put two and two together, because a lot of people are like saying, but well, where's the proof at? The proof is in the pudding. And guess what? We got some pudding for you to eat today, but I hope... You all got an empty stomach because it's a lot to digest. 
Now, you already know how I feel about the children. You know what I'm saying? Like the late great Whitney Houston used to say, I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. But never, never, ever should a grown up get in their way, especially if you're trying to do something nasty with them. The children deserve better. But at the same time, you all, women, men, but mostly women, let this be a lesson to you all. Find you somebody who you can really trust. Look, just because a person smile and they teeth all white does not mean they really like you or whatnot. Sad situation that at this age, Shirley Strawberry have to go through this. I think her and this guy, Ernesto Williams, have only been married just a few years. I think Shirley Strawberry's last husband was a guy named Michael, if I'm not mistaken. But at the same time, Shirley have the worst of the luck with these men. Now, all this went down on a Zoom call where they were having a bun hearing for Ernesto Williams, along with some other people. But Ernesto Williams' picture was not shown. It just had his name and also his lawyer that was representing him. His lawyer that was representing him let the cat out the bag, yes. Basically just listed Shirley Strawberry's name, even though the lawyer said it's Strawberry, a public figure. And we already know, unless you know another public figure named uh, Ed Strawberry, please let me know in the comment section. Because other than that, he happened to be talking about Shirley Strawberry's husband. And not only that, they implemented Steve Harvey in some mess also, basically saying that Steve was going to let Ernesto Williams flee to Abu Dhabi to his home that he have there, and he can hide out over there while he evades his prosecution over here in this country. And if that is true, Steve Harvey, listen to me. You do not want to mess with law enforcement because they're already on you any damn way. You know what I'm saying? So for them to sit up there and have the allegations against Ernesto Williams, it had to be some kind of proof. But also, before I break this story down even more, I want to send a special thank you out to the other bloggers who have already covered this story. Much love to each and every last one of you all, Storm Monroe and also Chronicle Speaks and a few other people. But them are the main two that I can think of right now. And no offense to anybody else. But at the same time, I want to tell you all this right here. You know, you have to be careful what you do. But at the same time, you still might be in denial saying, Trey, and look here, I am no way of trying to convict somebody. I'm just reporting what the news say, even though all the news is not reporting this. But guess what? Sooner or later, they're going to have to report it because they're trying to sweep all this under the rug, just like they didn't want to name uh, Shirley Strawberry whole name when they was doing a uh, Zoom call for the bell hearing. They only listed as as Strawberry, even though people can put that together. I mean, if you're going to sit here and say somebody's a public figure and then say they have a large public notoriety, I mean, and you list the name as S. Strawberry, we can put two and two together and say, look here, that's Shirley Strawberry husband that they're talking about. And not only that, they also have a letter with Shirley sent to the court system, pleading with the court system to let yeah, her husband out. And unless we have somebody else named Shirley Strawberry, who's a radio personality, who's a public figure, I don't know who the hell they talking about because her own signature is right there. But anyway, we'll break the rest down as I read a snippet from this story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story, and I am going to get my opinion. All of it. Mm, mm, mm. Shirley, as we go, Steve Harvey Radio co-host Shirley Strawberry husband accused of pedo charges and some damn fraud charges also. I mean, damn, some people just don't know how to quit when they got it good. Now, it's also said that Steve Harvey, yes, hooked Shirley Strawberry up with this guy. And Steve, if you did, mm, shame, shame, shame. Anyway, now this comes from Media Takeout. We're going to list the source. So people won't sit up here saying I'm lying. Now, a man bearing the same name as her husband, Ernest Williams, was arrested and charged with having child pornography on his computer and folks on social media suspect that the man charged with the highest crimes is Shirley Strawberry's husband. And damn, what a shame right there. I mean, man, talking about being publicly embarrassed. And you would think that this would have been on the Strawberry Letter for Friday, for today. No, they're not going to talk about this, but they're going to talk about everybody else's problems. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let you and me get caught up, especially me. They'd be loving to drag me. Not saying Shirley Strawberry would, but I know Steve Harvey and Junior would. And big shout out to Nephew Tummy and J. Anthony Brown. But I already know Steve Harvey can't wait to sink his teeth into me. And also Junior with his bad joke tell himself. Anyway, let's continue because I'm on fire today. Now, the man had a bell hearing on live stream. And the details of the arrest are as follows. Police claim that they found a single photograph on his computer. You already know when you're dealing with the internet, you typing in these certain words or whatnot. Listen here. Just because you uh, type in a word and then you delete it, you don't press enter. Guess what? Just by you typing it in, if it's a certain kind of word, because they have these keywords, they call them keywords, these trigger words. And if you type certain words in, I ain't going to say names of them because I don't want to, you know, get my stuff flagged. But anytime you type a certain word in, you don't have to push enter where it comes up with a search. No, all you got to do is just type it in the search bar. Guess what? It goes directly to them. Depends on what you're typing. 
Trust me, my major was computer science in college. So for somebody to sit up here and say that maybe the government is lying on them, they cannot be lying. And I'm not saying that they are telling the truth, but at the same time, the only way they can convict you of having drugs on you is guess what? They have to find you with drugs. The only way they can convict you of armed robbery, guess what? They have to have you committing the robbery, pictures, videos, or some witnesses. The only way they can convict you and uh, arrest you for child pornography is guess what? You have to be in possession of child pornography. You get what I'm saying? Anyway, let's continue. Now, the man had a bill hearing on live stream, and the details of the arrest are as follows. Police claim they found a single photograph on his computer. They also claim that Ernest was charged along with another woman. You might be thinking, well, Trey, who's the other woman? And no, it's not Shirley Strawberry. We're not going to put that on Shirley Strawberry. It was his said to be side chick. Police also say that it was a woman that he had some kind of sort of relationship with. Only relationship a married man is supposed to have is what? With his wife. And the same thing with a woman. Only relationship a married woman supposed to have is what? With her husband. Unless it's a side dude or a side chick. And also while I'm breaking down this story, you got to think of the nerve of this guy. Number one, you got a prison uh, some while back for armed robbery and also for fraud. They say Ernesto has a long criminal history. He spent time in prison for fraud and armed robbery. Media takeout confirmed that we have to list that because I'll be damned if I sit up here and get sued. Now, while Ernesto lawyer did not say specifically that Ernesto is married to Shirley Strawberry, but guess what though? They kind of did slip up and did say that. They did give it a few hints. First off, Ernesto lawyer said that his wife was a person of public notoriety, as you all see at the bottom. We ain't got to lie on nobody. You feel what I'm saying? We speak number what? Yeah, fat, fat facts all day, every day, like my people in St. Louis say. So if your lawyer sit up here and tell the judge that you are married to a person of public notoriety and go so far as list the name as Ed Strawberry, come on now, let's put two and two together and get four. If you get five, come back and we'll add again. So as you all can see, it has to be some kind of truth to this. Anyway, let's close up because somebody got mad at that right there. They hate when you deliver the receipts and the proof. Now, Ernesto's attorney also let it slip that the name of Ernesto's wife is Ed Strawberry. And you already know what Ed Strawberry means. Come on now. It don't mean simply Strawberry. And I wonder if this going to be on the Strawberry letter for next week right here. Husband got caught up with side chick along with uh, illicit images of children that he wasn't supposed to have. And also, why they tell her husband to stay away from animals if they let him out on bond? And also, Shirley Strawberry, if your husband is uh, accused of all this, why in the hell are you writing the court system trying to plead with them to let them out? Them out? You ain't been threatened. You ain't been coerced or harassed into writing this letter. I mean, if he's guilty of all this and also he have another woman and he looking at children and the last time I checked Shirley Strawberry, you have a daughter, you have grandchildren. I mean, the best thing to do is to cut this bastard loose if the allegations are true. And so far, it does sound like it's true, says the court system, not Trey King. Anyway, let's close up. Now, here's the part that sunk the whole damn battleship right here. When the prosecutors had tapped Ernesto's phone, because guess what? They already investigated him for fraud. And also for this child pornography charge, at any time that the police, the FBI have to investigate you for a child pornography, guess what they're going to do? They're going to dig through every damn thing, trying to find every and any little thing. And just because you go through your computer and delete something, you know what I'm saying? Just say if you have an image of a child, you're supposed to have that, number one, period. If you do, you're down bad. You need to be arrested. But just say if you have an image of a child on your computer and the police or the FBI happen to investigate you. Just because you went to your computer and deleted that said image does not mean it's permanently wiped off your hard drive. They have ways of uplifting all that stuff that you probably deleted like five years ago. Guess what? They have these people that can go through there and pick up everything that you have done on your computer, every little thing. Also, that's something to remember. Now, during the bail hearing, the prosecutor claimed that they tapped Ernesto's phone and heard him talk to multiple people. A sad situation. And you already should know this guy Ernesto is not the damn uh, sharpest knife in the drawer. Number one, you saw up here and spent time in prison for armed um, robbery and also for fraud. And then you get out years later, you end up marrying a woman who's a public figure, somebody who could have really helped you out in your life. And look at the mess you turn around and do. Now, the prosecutor goes on to say they claim that Ernesto spoke with a alleged side chick and that he planned on leaving America and leaving to go to Florida with her. But he wasn't going to stop at Florida. Guess what else they uncovered? Here it go right here. Now, the prosecutor also claimed that they eavesdropped on a phone call between Ernesto and his wife. And we already know who his wife is. Who his wife? Shirley Strawberry. During the conversation, it was said that his wife, boss, possibly Steve Harvey, had a second home in Abu Dhabi. Now, how many times you all watched the Steve Harvey Morning Show and heard him mention about this home in Abu Dhabi? I, for one, I have heard him say this himself, that he have a home over there. So, for them to tap the phone and heard her say that, sound like they trying to uh, 
you know, make sure Ernesto leave the country without prosecution. Guess what? He's already a convicted felon who have already served prison time for serious charges. So if they get him on this, guess what? He's pretty much sunk. Now, also, they say Steve Harvey had a second home in Abu Dhabi and that he may be willing to provide it to Ernesto so he could leave the country and evade prosecution. A sad situation. Now, the prosecutors say they heard Shirley Strawberry and her husband talking about this situation right here, but they never mentioned that Steve Harvey said this himself. So we're not going to put that on Steve Harvey if it's not true. But also in closing, they say Ernesto and Steve Harvey are close friends. And my thing is this right here, like I'm going to ask you all, how do you think they met? That's why I want to know. And Steve Harvey meets some of the craziest people now. And also, they have known each other for years. In fact, Steve is credited for introducing Shirley to Ernesto. And in their wedding, Steve actually walked Shirley down the aisle. And damn, Shirley, if only you could walk right back down that aisle, take that ring back off, take that wedding dress back off, give it to Ernesto and say, hell no. You feel what I'm saying? But it's a sad situation in closing that I want to leave you all with right here. Just imagine if you're a woman like Shirley Strawberry, and she's a beautiful woman, no lie. And this is no offense to her. My only fault with her if she knew about this. And like I'm going to say this right here, I'm going to go on record. I doubt very seriously if she knew the mess her husband was up to, if these allegations are true. But once again, in closing, the police, the prosecution, the FBI cannot bring no child pornography charges upon you. Guess what? If you did not look at child porn, Period. Just like they can't say that you're a drug dealer if they don't have no proof of you selling drugs. You get what I'm saying? So if it sounds like a duck and it quack like a duck, guess what it must be? A duck. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me. We can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Until next time, you all stay blessed, and I will keep you all updated as more info come out about the story. And thank you all once again for tuning in to the Trey King Show. Much love to all of you. And Miss Shirley Strawberry, look here. Boo, I'm going to leave this in closing. No offense. With all due respect, if your boy was just a little bit older, if I was just a little bit older, <laughs> we can have a great time. Anyway, I will see you all soon. And much love to all of you. And guess what? I'm out.